guys, welcome back for the third and final video in our series where we are swatching through the polishes that I received as Blogger of the Month for March Polish Pickup. So if you don't know what Polish Pickup is, it's a collective event that happens online at this website where about 100 indie polish makers list polishes all inspired by the same theme. This month it is album covers and you can purchase them for one shipping price because polishpickup.com does flat rate $3 shipping. So today is the final day so I split it up into 25 pieces approximately each video. So we go fast in these videos at least fast as I can without feeling like I'm talking a mile a minute. If we go too quickly through a polish definitely just hit pause. We're starting with the brand Indie by Patty Lopez. Her polish is called I'm Going Hunting. And for this month, she was inspired by the Homogenic Bjork album. And this polish is described as a shimmer, teal to pink duochrome base, multi-chrome flakes, red hollow glitters, silver hollow micro glitters. I'm going to build this up for you at three coats. You guys, this is incredibly sparkly. I love that beautiful shift from teal to pink. It's so soft and so glowy. The red hollow glitters are really bright against the base as well. I really wanted to get a holographic shot of this polish for you, but the sun hasn't come out in about four or five days. So in the space of time since I received this polish, I unfortunately haven't been able to show you, but it is super, super holographic, you guys. This polish is listed for $12 and there are 75 bottles. And this is I'm Going Hunting by Indie by Patty Lopez. All right, we've got our first of a few thermals we're gonna look at today. We're looking at Heather's Hughes and it's called Take These Chances. And this polish is inspired by the Dave Matthews Band album Under the Table and Dreaming. And the maker says this got her through some very tough times in her life. The description reads, a tri-thermal shifting from purple when cold to blue in transition to pink when warm. It's filled with original unicorn pea pigment. That, that's the pigment that shifts from red to green. It has pink to blue to violet iridescent flakes, violet to pink to gold multichrome flakes, and rose to gold metallic microflakes. It's very glowy, you guys. It's very warm. It has a beautiful shift. It's just soft, but also very indulgent feeling because of all of the flakies and the components in there. It's just lovely. So Take These Chances is listed for $15 a bottle and there are going to be 160 bottles available. And this is the Heather's Hughes March Polish Pickup. Polish Pickup starts tomorrow, you guys. Can you believe it? It's already here. Next up, we are looking at Graceful Nail Polish. The brand's named this polish Midnight Lotus, and it is inspired by Prince's album Lotus Flower. The description says, vibrant purple with aurora shimmer, flashes of blue, and ultra chrome chameleon flakies in pink, gold, blue, and violet. You guys, Vibrant is such a good name for this. It is intensely bright, even though it is so dark. It's so, so cool. It just sparkles and glows out from the nail. It's really awesome. I think it's because of all that hot pink flaky coming off of this and the intense sapphire. It's so cool. So this also gets very opaque. I'm gonna show you two coats, but it reaches opacity really quickly. This is Midnight Lotus from Graceful Nail Polish, and sometimes when you just put a polish on, it just screams at you how beautiful it is. That was this polish for me. So this one is going to be listed for $11.50, and there are 140 bottles. Next up, we have the offering from Girly Bits Cosmetics, and this polish is called Say Hello to Heaven. It's inspired by Temple of the Dog, and the description reads, a vibrant purple base with purple and blue shimmer, gold flakes, and color shifting flakes in purple to blue. Dramatically, what stands out to me so much against this polish is the gorgeous blurple base with the contrast of these bright gold microflakes. It's so, so beautiful, you guys. It's a very lush, deep shade of blue to purple. I'm just showing you two coats. It gets nice and opaque, and I just love the way the base pigment glows. It's so gorgeous, you guys. So this is Say Hello to Heaven from Girly Bits. They have this priced at $13, and there are 300 bottles available. So delightful for me to have another dark purple. This time we're looking at Flirtin' Cosmetics, and the polish name is Blinged Out Butterflies. This is inspired by Mariah Carey, specifically the Infinity album. The product description says, a deep purple glitter polish with blue, violet, and purple flakies. So I swatch this for you in two coats, you guys. It goes on nice and easily. It's very dark and sexy, super, super pretty. And we've got sparkles of the blue and purple and the micro flakies. It's just dancing across the nail. It's so gorgeous, you guys, and super easy to work with. This polish is priced at $11. There are only 75 bottles available. So this is 
Flirt and Cosmetics, Blinged Out Butterflies. I also had a number of Mariah Carey albums, so this polish also calls to me for that reason. Next up is Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale has this gorgeous thermal for us this month. The polish is called Drawing Down the Moon. The inspiration is the album cover of the same name by Beirut. And this is described as a teal when warm to black when cold thermal with gold shine, copper chrome flakes, super fine gold flecks, and holographic accent. The gold ingredients can lean the warm state slightly green, so it can look more seafoam green and the cold state navy. This is a really complex polish, you guys. There's a lot going on in here. Essentially, for me, this feels like a really dark, luscious, kind of mysterious, mossy green to this soft but brighter seafoam green and there are so many little intricate components in here it's kind of wrapped up into a short little bow but when you look at it on the nail there's so much going on with these little flakies and flecks and then you've got the holographic in there as well it swatches like a dream it paints on so easily i'm just going to do two coats for you and i just love it in the warm state or the cold state and it looks so different depending on what your body temperature is at the time. This is super, super fun. So this is Drawing Down the Moon. It is priced at $14 a bottle, and there is no cap. So this is your Femme Fatale offering. Next up is Fan Chromatic Nails. The polish is called Sweet Spanish Doll, and the maker is inspired by Poe's Haunted album. This polish is described as a soft peach crelly base loaded with chameleon chrome flakies iridescent flakies and hints of blue to purple iridescent glitters. Basically, if a peach crelly filled with a rainbow of delicate but very vibrant flakies sounds like something you'd be into, you really need this polish, you guys. It's just a sparkling rainbow on your nail and I think it's so beautiful. This polish looks really cool matte. I've shown it to you here, two coats with top coat and I absolutely love it. Such a fun way to wear a neutral. So this is Sweet Spanish Doll from Fan Chromatic Nails. It's priced at $12 a bottle and there are only 75 bottles. Next up we have Fair Maiden Polish and this polish is called Parachutes. It is inspired by Coldplay, specifically the Parachutes album. And the description reads, a golden to red multichrome with magnetic multichrome flakes that shift gold, copper red, and hollow glitter. The shift for me when I wear it is very gold green to like the copper shade. It has so much dimension on its own. And then when you move that magnet, it's shifting the little flakies inside the polish that are pulling together. And those flakies are the ones that are in the gold, copper, red. It also is filled with hollow, you guys. One of my favorite ways that I found this polish was in overcast lighting. It looks super, super cool as well. So this is Fair Maiden Parachutes. And this polish, you guys, is listed for $11, and there is no cap. Next up, we have Ever After, and their polish, Under the Iron Sea, is inspired by Keen's album, Under the Iron Sea, and I'm such a fan of Keen. I really, really like that band's music. This polish is described as a deep navy hollow with blue shifting aurora shimmer and navy blue hollow hex and micro flakes. But to get more specific, you've got this really gorgeous iron blue holographic, very holographic, and then the flakies in here, you're getting bright pops of fuchsia, blue, copper, and red. Super, super pretty, you guys. This swatches so nicely in two coats. This is one of the only polishes this month that touches this color spectrum as well. So this is Ever After's Under the Iron Sea, and it's $11, and there is no cap. Next up, we're looking at the offering from Emily DeMolly. This polish is called Hide the Sun, and it's this amazing, lush, incredibly lush, sparkling green flaky polish. You guys, this polish is super bomb. So Hide the Sun is inspired by Taproot, Our Long Road Home. It's described as a beautiful teal green with silver holographic micro glitters and iridescent flakes that shift orange to gold to green. There are so many flakies in here. It's super, super dense. I found this totally opaque at one coat, you guys. This is only $11, which makes this polish extremely affordable for how many flakies you're getting in here because you're gonna be able to use this polish for a long time because you pretty much don't need more than one coat. 
and I'm going to show you two just because I'm doing at least two of everything today. This polish kind of blew my mind, guys. I just have to tell you. I have thoroughly enjoyed every Emily Damali polish that I have purchased. And this one is just kind of bananas. So, 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 so many flakies and just the most dazzling shade of green. So, again, $11 and there is no cap. This is Emily Damali Hide the Sun. Okay, another really fun thermal that looks quite different from all the other thermals this month. This is Elegy Fun House, and she was inspired by the pink album of the same name this month. This polish goes from this reddish coral to clear, but there is so much gold flaky and shimmer going on in here that when it's in its clear state, it just looks like a very light gold. I love this polish because I love a red to gold combo, and I think that this one was just done really really well. The description officially says a coral red to colorless thermal filled with gold flakies and a jaw-dropping hot pink to gold shimmer. You guys, if you like thermals, whatever component is that micro flaky is bomb. So I really really enjoyed this. I'm swatching it for you at two coats. It is priced at $12 and there is no cap. Next up we're looking at Dollish Polish A Strange Day. This polish is another one that commands attention and every time I'm looking through polishes, my eye just goes straight here and I just don't want to stop looking. And when I have it on, I can't stop looking at my nails. So A Strange Day is inspired by The Cure's pornography album and named after her favorite song from the same album. It's described as a violet mauve crelly loaded with red to gold aurora shimmer and filled with red and silver hollow micro shreds and red to copper to orange ultra chameleon chrome flakies. This swatches beautifully at two coats. It's stunningly sparkly on the nail. There's just so many things to look at. You don't even know what to look at and the formula is incredible. I really, really love this, you guys. I mean, I might be kind of biased because I love a violet mauve. It's just such perfection. This is another happy, happy shade for me, but it's also like a power shade. So I really, really enjoy it and that beautiful, strong, Aurora Shimmer, the red to gold, gives off this gorgeous warmth and strength to this polish as well. So, such a fan of A Strange Day. It is priced at $13 and there is no cap. Next up, we're looking at a polish from Creative Cuticles. This polish is called Perfect and it's inspired by Simple Plans, No Pads, No Helmets, Just Balls album. This is described as a white curly with hollow red black, purple, and green flakes, and hollow gold micro flakies. The hollow really sparkles out from this polish. It's basically a little rainbow inside the white curly base. And this swatches really, really nicely at two coats. I've always really loved the maker's logo, by the way. It's a heart. And is it a penguin? It's painting a nail. It's absolutely adorable. So this is perfect from the brand Creative Cuticles. It is listed for $10 a bottle and there are 90 bottles available. Next up we're looking at a polish by Colors by LaRoe. This polish is called Hello, Hello, Hello and it's inspired by Nirvana's Nevermind album. And the description says, a bright pool blue crelly. Oh, I just love that, so refreshing. Cool blue crelly base with purple to aqua aurora pigment and violet to blue to green iridescent flakies. So they basically picked my favorite end of the spectrum. We're running through green, blue, and tons of purpley pink in this polish. It's a jelly base. You're going to want to build it up. I'm going to show you three coats today. And the base makes it so you can really layer up these flakies and the shifty pigment, giving a really deep dimension to this polish. And it's so beautiful. The base color is just incredibly refreshing and lovely. So this is Hello, Hello, Hello by Colors by LaRoe. It is listed for $11 and there is no cap. Next up, we're looking at the polish by Coloris de Carol. This polish is inspired by Lady Gaga, specifically the Born This Way album, and it's called Superstar. So Superstar is described as a silver holographic base with red shimmer, holographic shreds, iridescent flakies, hollow red micro glitters, and black shreds. The flakies I'm getting a strong green off the top. The hollow red micro glitters are coming out super strong, and of course you've got those black shreds. This is a really cool, definitely very punk rock polish. It swatches so nicely, you guys. It goes on just like butter. I'm showing you three coats today, and it's incredibly holographic. So this is Colorista Carol Superstar. It is $12.50 on the website, and there is no cap. 
up we're looking at a polish by Chirality. This polish is called Young, Dumb, and Broke, and it's inspired by the American Teen album from Khaled. This is described as an Oxford blue jelly with a sapphire blue shimmer. It's a gorgeous shimmer, you guys. You're gonna die. Blue hollow micro glitters and gold holographic glitters. The gold glitters are super strong. They really sparkle against the blue base. That gold and blue combo is so beautiful, you guys. I'm gonna swatch this really easily in just two coats and you're getting so much glitter on the nail. So Chirality Young, Dumb, and Broke is on the website for $10 a bottle and there is no cap. The next polish is from the brand Cameo Colors and her polish is called Till We Both See The Light. This polish is inspired by 21 Pilots, which is really fun for me, I'm a big fan, and it's inspired by their self-titled album. The description reads, a medium gray crelly base with a variety of gorgeously shifty ultra chrome flakes and silver hollow micro flakes. A variety, AKA she's put a rainbow in here, I see every single color, and it's so beautiful. They're dispersed so nicely through this base along with those micro hollow flakies, you guys. It's just a real rainbow in a bottle and you have this delicious, cozy, gray, crelly base for them to nestle in. I really loved this. It swatches beautifully at two coats, super easy to use. So this is Cameo Colors Till We Both See The Light. This polish is listed for $11 a bottle and there are 95 bottles. Next up, we're looking at a polish from the brand By Danny Vienna. And her polish this month is called Look At The Stars. Look at the Stars is inspired by Coldplay's yellow single, and the description says deep blue with gold shimmer, holographic flakies, gold micro flakies, and gold ultra chameleon chrome flakies. So it's just talking about how much I love a blue and gold combo. This is incredibly densely packed with those gold flakies, and it's just such a beautiful combination, you guys. The blue is this really deep, luscious night sky blue, and they've got the twinkling gold just like a star sky. It's so beautiful, you guys. Such a warm shade, again, another great shade to warm you up in these cold winter months. So look at the stars, it's priced at $11 and there are going to be 100 bottles available of this beautiful polish from the brand by Danny Vienna. Next up, we're talking about the brand Blush Lacquers, and they've brought us this beautiful kind of mauve polish, and it's called Iris. Iris is inspired by Dizzy Up the Girl by the Goo Goo Dolls and her favorite song from the album, Iris. The description reads, a plummy brown base with shifting pink to purple to blue to green flakes and hollow flakes. These are multi-chrome flakies in here, not the iridescent kind. And depending on how you turn your nails or the brush, you're seeing just an incredibly bright pink. But at other angles, I'm getting so much blue and green, you guys. I love the shifty quality of these flakies in here. And it paints on so nicely. It swatches here in just two coats. So this is Blush Lacquer's Iris. This polish is listed on the website for $11.50. And there is luckily no cap. Next up, we're gonna look at a super hot neon pink holographic. This is from the brand Beyond the Nail, and it's called Can't Stop. This is inspired by Miley Cyrus's Bangers album. And every time I've played with this polish during the past few weeks, I cannot stop singing that song in my head. So the description for this polish says, neon pink linear holographic polish with a hint of purple shimmer. So if you're ready for a hot, hot pink neon, this one is so incredibly bright, cheerful, Playful. This is the kind of banish your troubles, fun, fun polish. And it swatches so nicely. This is basically a one coater. It's not advertised that way, but it's really easy to go on. It's actually pretty difficult to make a neon polish holographic without doling down the base. So I just am so impressed by this polish. It's fantastic. This is Can't Stop from Beyond the Nail and it is listed on polishpickup.com for $12. And there are 100 bottles available. So the third magnetic polish that I was sent for this month of March Polish Pickup is from Bees Knees Lacquer. This polish is called Losing My Mind and it is inspired by Falling Reverse Losing My Mind. And the description says, a green to purple multichrome magnetic with larger particle size OG Unicorn P and OG Unicorn P Ghost Flakes. Those are like the chameleon flakies and they're going from that red to green, just like the Unicorn P. And it says we recommend either layering it on its own in three coats or wearing over another color, specifically with 
a pigmented polish where you've got a nice shift there if you wear over a dark polish. It gives a base for those pigments to shine off against. And when you put a magnet over this polish, you get this awesome turquoise to purple shift. It's just so, so beautiful. And when you haven't done that, you've got this lovely rosy red to green in the base. This polish is just really, really fun. There are 300 bottles available of this and it is listed for $15. And there also is a magnet listing on the Polish Pickup website, by the way, if you wanna pick up a magnet. Next up, we're looking at a polish from Baby Girl Lacquer. This polish is called I Care For You and it's inspired by Aaliyah's album, I Care For You. The description says it's a peach crelly filled with metallic gold flakies, tangerine to clear thermal hex glitter, fire red hollow glitter, and reddish flakies. I really love how soft and delicate this polish is. I'm gonna swatch it for you at three coats. I love the squishy, serene quality of this polish, and then the beautiful, delicate red and gold component shining out out of this Crelly. It was just so soft and beautiful. So I Care For You is swatched here at three coats. It is listed for $11.50 on the website, and there is no cap. This next polish is from Aurora 5 Free Nail Lacquer, and the polish is called It's Britney Bitch. And this polish is so up my alley, you guys. Um, it's basically a flaky wonderland, and when I say that, I mean a polish that's basically just flaky. So it's so much flaky that it's gonna give you coverage across your nail, and it is bananas amazing. So specifically this polish is inspired by the Oops I Did It Again album and the description says that it's a circus of ultra chameleon chrome flakies, that's the multi-chrome ones, metallic flakies, gold flakies, and color shifting flakies. It's a lot of purple, I'm getting a lot of gold and green, it's like a fuchsia and purple mix. It is so stunning. On the nail I just can't take my eyes away from it. So this is one that personally speaks to me. If you get it, I know you'll love it. I also know as a maker that super, super flaky polishes are kind of the most pain in the butt polishes to pour. So there's a lot of labor of love going into this polish and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This polish is listed for $12 and there are only 75 bottles available. We're getting here to the end, you guys. Thanks for sticking it out with me through to the end. There are definitely polishes here that you don't wanna miss. This next one is from Anchor and Heart Lacquer and it's called Numb Encore. And this polish is inspired by Collision Course by Jay-Z and Linkin Park, a collab that they did. The description says, a light taupe crelly with strong green to blue to purple aurora shimmer, and it is very strong and it's like haunting against the taupe base. It's so, so cool. It also has teal to navy to violet ultra chameleon chrome flakies, the multi-chrome kind, and gray and navy blue micro flakies. This polish is so cool. It's kind of eerie. I'm super, super in love with it. It swatches so nicely. The blue glow coming off of this thing is fantastic. And so I've done this for you at two coats. Numb Encore is priced on the Polish Pickup website at $12. And there is no cap. Next up we have Inagata Da Vida from Alter Ego Polish. And this polish is this really cool mix of like silvered lilac to this otherworldly green. It's really, really cool how this polish came out. The inspiration is the Iron Butterfly hit song in the 70s, and the description says muted pink and green shifts between the two colors on the nails. It is really kind of spellbinding. This polish makes me think of like the most bomb suit of armor ever. Like I would want my armor made out of this metallic component. It's really, really cool. So this polish is going to be priced at $8.50 and there is no cap. I swatched this very easily in just two coats. So this is Alter Ego in Agata de Vida. And last up for today's video and for this entire month of March, we have 1850 Artisan Nail Lacquer. If you're following me along on the website, we did 77 Nail Lacquer in the first video because I was grouping it with all the S polishes. So if you were looking for that, it's in the first video. Um, 1850 Artisan Nail Lacquer. This is another thermal. It's gonna go from a black holographic to a soft silver holographic. This polish is called Lunar Eclipse and it's inspired by Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon album. The description says black with linear holographic and scattered holographic micro flakies. 
It transitions to clear that builds up to a silver linear hollow when warm. The maker was inspired by the black and rainbow from the album cover and the color of the moon. This is a beautiful transition on the nail. Lovely holographic qualities here. I especially love a micro flaky holographic. It's just so delicate and soft. I'm swatching this very easily at two coats, you guys. Lunar Eclipse is going to be $13 on the website and there is no cap. So again, I wasn't sent every single polish that's appearing on the Polish Pickup website. Hopefully you've been following me along while I've been going through this video. I would love to hear in the comments below what your favorites are and what you're planning on picking up. That's gonna be it, you guys. That wraps up the whole thing. Tomorrow starts Polish Pickup. It's gonna be at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, polishpickup.com. The link is in the description bar below. You can go over there and start wishlisting what items you want. And I hope you had some fun hanging out with me. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I hope to see you back for Swatch Fest. Take care, and I'll see you later. Bye!